hello family god bless you all welcome once again another prophetic word another encouragement for your spirit even right now in job 42 verse 10 the word of god simply spoke about how god turned around the captivity of job this is something that the lord has been doing from day one and this is not something that is hard for the lord to do for god to turn around our situations so i'm just here to encourage you even as god turned around the captivity of job in job 42 verse 10 the word of god just simply says and the lord turned the captivity of job i want you to put your name in there and saying the lord turned around the captivity of glean or say can i put your name in there amen and then he also says that the Lord God Almighty blessed Job with twice as much as he had before. But there was something Job was doing before God stepped in to turn around his captivity. And the word of God says in that same verse 10 of chapter 42, it says that Job was praying for his friends. And that's something not many of us are used to doing. And I know that I've brought you all along on this ministry. I usually encourage you all to pray for other people. When you're going through something challenging, just pray for somebody else, right? So I want you to practice doing that in this season. If you've not been doing that in this season of fasting and prayer that we've been on. So try to uh, commit yourself just to pray. Pray for other people that are going through something like yourself, something similar like, like, like what you've been going through. Or just, you know, for the Lord to just... Um, you know, turn turn around whatever they are going through that you, you may not be going through, okay? Because you're not the only one going through, right? So let us practice praying for other people, um, intercede for them. The Lord said in Ephesians that we should continue to intercede for uh, others in the body of Christ, okay? So let us practice interceding uh, for one another, pray for one another. And I can tell you that this th this thing works like, I don't want to call it magic because me, I don't believe in magic, but I believe in the power of God and I believe in miracles, okay? So commit yourself to praying for other people, look for one or two persons that, you know, they're going through something and just pray for them, okay? And just intercede for them and, and watch how the Lord will step into your own situation quicker than you actually expect. Many times we don't pray for other people enough as we should, or we pray for them maybe just once. And then we say, okay, you know, that's it. But we, we, we tend to pray for ourselves much more than we do for others. But the Lord is saying, Pray for others, pray for your family, your brothers, your, your aunties, uncles, sisters, children. Pray for your spouse. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the Lord said also that it, the, the, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous is availed much. So let's spend time to pray for one another and see how God begins to turn around our captivity. Don't forget Psalm 126 also says that the Lord turned the captivity of his people Israel and as he turned around their captivity he caused them to feel like it was a dream their mouth was filled with laughter and their tongue was filled with singing amen so the Lord is about to turn, turn again uh, our captivity Zion get ready but let's take that stand and pray for others and intercede for others and just ask the Lord to come through for them instead of we just asking for ourselves every single time may God bless you as you hear this word in Jesus' mighty name, let's pray together. Father God, thank you for your word. Even right now, I'm asking for grace upon everyone that's received this word. Grace, Lord, for intercession for, for, for others in the body of Christ, for our family members, for our loved ones, for our friends, for our children, our spouses. Grant us grace, Lord, to continue to pray, O oh Lord, for others. And as we do, Heavenly Father, we thank you in advance that you will be turning around our captivity like you did for Job, like you did for Joseph, like you did for Esther, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you, Father God, for answered prayers in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. I love you all so much. Remain encouraged. Subscribe. Join the ministry. Like the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Shalom and blessings.